Hey, Assalamu alaikum everyone. So without wasting our time, let's start georeferencing. We must have an image to georeference. So we download this from Google, open the Google. Let's suppose we have a map of Pakistan for georeferencing. Okay, uh, there are many maps. A suitable map will be downloaded. Okay, let's suppose that this one map. Okay, there are X and Y values uh, given. Easily visible to us. Okay, there are many maps like this one okay this one is more suitable i guess yes okay uh, download this image from google and x and y values are easily visible to us and this is more suitable to download okay keep in mind one thing that your data should be saved in specifically one folder this is easier for you yes okay uh, and save this over here now go to uh js open the software and um, click on the add data okay there's the problem that in folder go to folder connections okay there's a problem that the folder is not showing in which i have saved my data but don't worry click on site connect to folder here this pc and now click on there d and now gs folder has been shown over here okay click on there now go to again folder connections and now here js folder has been shown this is so easy don't worry for that okay now js and here image is saved which i have already been done with that okay now click on add button and saved it okay now the pakistan map has been shown over this software now we start the georeferencing but the problem is that the georeferencing tool is not showing oh okay no problem click anywhere on site and empty space right click over here and uh, different yes 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 come on different tools have been opened okay now you select your georeferencing tool and uh, here here it is yes click over here okay it's game and it just anywhere you want i adjust it here okay so here we go and start taking the points okay zoom in okay now we have to zoom in a point for georeferencing for georeferencing you must take four points are required but to reduce error you can take more than four points it's up to you okay but fours are essentially needed okay now click on here uh, add to control button now that tool has been taken now click over here add to control button now exactly in a center at the same time first way of all click left and then right click yes now the input x and y values are demanded the x and y values okay x is the longitude and y is the latitude so uh, x value is over uh, 78 and y is 36 so we have put these values in the x is 78 and y is 36 yes now click ok 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 the map has uh, will disappear don't worry because this software doesn't know where this is in globe where this lies in globe you don't need to worry you just click over table of content right click over here here is option zoom to layer when you click over here the zoom will be appear back okay now choose another point zoom in over here now take that uh, add to control point and click exactly in the center first left click and right click then input your x and y values the x value is 78 and the y value is 24 now input this in this column okay now again this will be disappear you the same procedure has been done now this map is in form of tilt because this Pakistan map lie in the globe somewhere in form of tilt so that's why it means your geographic is going correctly you don't need to worry for that okay I forget to tell you one thing that there is a uh, units that are unknown units when you once done with the geofencing that has been that values the units have in decimal point okay it's mean that you have been done with geofencing yes this purpose of that was i told you now again zoom in to take the third point exactly the same procedure has been done the add to control point and now zoom in 
more zoom in because it will easier for you now first of all you left and then right click and the input values have been for x and y i have put my uh, x 64 and y 24 then okay in this time the map will not disappear so you can again uh, right click over here and uh, click to zoom to layer the map will be your set just right click now you have to take the four point over here oh here is the label some kind of label but you don't need to worry because we can take the point to side so take that point over here here over is 66 or x value and y will be 36 value I am done with more zoom in so click add that choose that and click on exactly center first right left and then right click okay now 66 over the x value and here will be 36 over y value yes okay now again go to there click zoom to a, okay four points has been taken and so now we give the coordinate system for that click right on your map and go to data frame properties here coordinate system click over here and now go to geographic coordinate systems click over here and uh, for that yes there you can click on vote and then then wgs 1984 okay okay apply the coordinate system can be given as i told you but now the other way is to go to click on catalog folder connections where you have saved your image now image then the image click on over our properties go to the properties now here is the special reference here the status is that you have undefined okay for that you click on edit geographic coordinate system same process as told you earlier wg 1984 okay okay apply this is the other way you can apply uh, give coordinate systems to your georeferenced map here the last is to click on update georeferencing your georeferencing has been done so here we go we are done with georeferencing as you see this is so easier hope it will be help you in georeferencing if anybody have question regarding that let me know in below comment section see you next time with next video a lot of you